Hey everybody, welcome back to Reviews and Random. Today we are reviewing this heated beanie by Sabot Heat or Sabot, I don't know. I never really know how to pronounce these things. Um, but for those of you that follow the channel know that I recently discovered heated clothing and I absolutely love it for my Midwestern winters. I just did a review for a heated vest and decided to pick this little beauty up and I am super happy that I did. So I literally just got in from um, from shoveling my, my driveway because it finally snowed here in Ohio. Um, and so I used this while I was out there and decided immediately that I came back in, I need to do a review for it because this thing was outstanding. So let's just go through a little quick overview. Um, battery pack, one of the things that I like about the battery pack is that it is flexible. It's actually two different batteries um, so that it can bend around your head. If it's a flat one like this, it's gonna be really uncomfortable on the back of your head. This actually flexes. It's got some padding on there as well, so it doesn't feel like a brick. In fact, I don't actually notice it when it's in um, the beanie with me. This is a 7.4 volt, um, but you can charge it with any five volt charging block. This has a transformer that will charge your 7.4 volts. Um, and the reason that I got a 7.4 over a 5 is I wanted to be able to get higher heat when I needed it, um, but also I wanted higher heat at a lower setting because most of the milliamps um, are very similar, um, so the battery capacity is very similar. My hope was to get more battery life out of, um, out of it because I'd be running it at a lower temperature. I think I accomplished that. I don't know because I don't have anything to compare it to, um, but that was, that was my thought process um, behind behind getting a 7.4 volt over the 5 volt system. Um, to use it, it's pretty straightforward. You're just going to plug inside inside here. There's this little pocket. You're just going to plug this in there. Pardon my spray paint hands. I was doing other projects. And you're just going to slide this thing into the pocket like so. and you're good to go. You can see, let's see if I can find the heating elements for you. There's a heating element here, and there's one on the other side that are right over the ears, which is awesome. Because um, your ears are nice and toasty, it radiates up over the rest of your, your head. So you wanna make sure that you have those positioned right over your, your head. I will say that on high, um, it's actually too hot. <laughs> so I, I almost never run this above the low setting. Um, even when I was outside in, I think it got down to like 14 degrees this, this week. Um, I still only ran it on the, the low setting because it was plenty warm to keep my ears and my head warm. The other thing that I really like about the 7.4 volt system is it heats up crazy fast. So let's take a look here. So to turn it on, you're just gonna hit this button. Green is low, blue is medium, red is high. Um, I'm going to find the heating element here. I think that's it. And let's just see what we do. So you can see, look how fast it's, it's heating up already. There it goes, 90. I found it. It's hard to see. You can kind of see the stitching. So we're at 91 degrees. Look how fast this thing heats up. Um, so within about, I don't know, 15 to 20 seconds, you're at 90 degrees. Well, that was like 10 seconds. You're at 90 degrees. Should be over 100 degrees now. Oh, I misjudged it. We're at 94. Um, so you can see that it heats super, super quickly. Uh, uh, let's go over while it's still heating because I want to show you how hot it gets. Make sure that we're there. 97. Somewhere between 88 and 97. This is a crazy thermometer. I want to make sure that I'm on the actual heat pad. There it is. 103. There it is. 107. So that's how long it took to get to 100 and almost 110 degrees. That's crazy. Well, now we're past that. That's crazy fast. So sorry, I wasn't exactly on the heating element before. It's kind of hard to see where the stitching is to find the heating element. You definitely feel it when you're uh, when you put it on, though, I'll have to look back at the time, how long that actually took, but it, it felt like, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or less that we got to 110 degrees. That's really fast. That means you grab this, you turn it on, you walk out the door. Before you hit your car, you're already at temperature. I'm going to turn that off. 
and this battery isn't completely charged, which it should be um, because I just got in from using it. Battery life on this is probably, I think I got about two hours-ish on the low setting, which is what I run it at. That's my one, well, I've got two complaints on this. The first is the battery life. I don't really dock any stars for that because all of the hats are gonna have very similar battery life. Uh, I think I get a little better battery life out of this because I run it on low all the time. Oops, hit my tripod there. Um, but you can't really have a giant battery pack sitting in the back of your head. It's gonna be uncomfortable and heavy. So um, you can buy extra batteries. I contacted the, the seller on this. I'm gonna try to find a link to buy the extra batteries for it. Um, so that if you're going out, like say skiing or something, you can have two or three batteries and just swap them out, um, which I think is awesome. The real, the only like true complaint that I have about this hat is the styling of it. One, it's just kind of a plain, plain hat. It's a very well constructed hat. Don't get me wrong. This is very thick. Uh, when I when I wear it during the like when the when the wind is hitting me, I don't feel anything through that. The wind does not cut through this at all. Very thick, very comfortable, very soft to wear. Even with the battery pack, you don't notice it. Um, but the styling of it, it's it's kind of plain. I really don't like that the the this glowing red button is sitting right in the front on your forehead. Um, I, I wish that that would have been maybe relocated down underneath here. Um, the other thing is it's a very big hat. It, it does stretch, um, so it fit my head. I have a giant head. Uh, it fit my wife's head. Um, so it's, they, they designed it as a one-size-fits-all. It definitely accomplishes that goal. Uh, it, it, is a, it will fit pretty much anybody, but if you have a smaller head, you're going to have a little bit of this kind of like hanging up over the top. So there's a little bit of a sacrifice in style for function, um, but if you're looking for just a really good quality heated hat, I don't think you're going to go wrong, and I give this thing five stars.